Warning, this channel and all games played are intended for a mature audience. If you are under the age of 13, you need to leave this channel now. Also, Redbeard is a total and you wouldn't like him anyway. If you are easily offended, you might as well get the hell out of here also. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can unlock things in GTA Online and Red Dead Online. Now, with a new Casino Heist update, you can unlock an exclusive weapon, which is the Secret Navy Revolver. That is going to be coming out in Red Dead Online. But you're going to be doing it by solving a mystery of the Los Santos Slasher. So, with the new update that GTA Online had, they also had, I guess, a serial killer that came out with it. To unlock the Navy Revolver in GTA Online, you're going to have to solve five clues. But once you solve those five clues, you're going to also unlock a secret weapon in Red Dead Online. And at the same time, you're going to be unlocking a mystery discoverable weapon in Red Dead Online. So let's just jump into the video real quick. I'll show you the locations that you have to solve the Los Santos Slasher Murderer Mystery. Also too, real fast, before you do this, make sure you have both of your game's accounts linked to your social club because you don't want to go through all the work of doing this and not get credit for it. So make sure you have both Red Dead Online and GTA Online linked together on your social club account. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first clue. And most of these are in Blaine County. So the first one is right here, right next to this building right here. So go ahead and run over here to where underneath this light and you'll see writing on the wall and it'll say, can you find me? And as you get close to each one of these, you'll get vibration in your controller. You actually sometimes hear flies and some creepy music. So let's go ahead and take a look at the second one, right over here by the airfield in Blaine County, right off the side of this dirt road. And go ahead and run over here to the side of the road by these little barriers, you'll see a trash bag. And of course you'll get the vibration in your controller and you'll see a hand on the ground. And you, each one of these you'll press right on the D-pad to inspect and then press it again to exit. And the next one here is just north here in Blaine County, right outside of old broke down barn. So once you're here, go ahead and run over to this barn on the right hand side and you'll see a machete stuck in the barn. Disinspect it and back out again as well. Each one of these you'll get XP bonuses too, which is pretty good. So let's take a look at the fourth one and it's to the northwest of the map. Right back in the alley in this back behind this building. So go ahead and go over to this door. You'll see a bloody handprint on the door. You just got to run over to it and inspect it. So that is the first four static locations of the clues. Now the fifth clue is different. The fifth clue actually has five different possible locations. So we're going to go through all five of those as well to help you out. So this is the first of the five possible locations northeast of the map of GTA Online up here on the side of the road. Now here on the side of the road, you don't see the van because they are sporadic. Right here on these wood planks, you should see a black van. Or the next one would be right here on the map, still in Blaine County, right off the side of the road underneath this overpass. And I'll run over here, I'll show you exactly where you would see the van at if it's going to be here. And jump up over here underneath the overpass and right there, it should be sitting right there if that's where it's going to be at for you. And the third one, just a little bit farther down the road, right beside that circle. So once you're here, go ahead and just run around the back of it. And if it's going to be here, it'll be right beside that tank right there. And for the fourth one, right here by the river, really close to the military base, right there in the little island part hanging out. And I'll go ahead and jump off and show you where that'll be at. Again, like I said, we're looking for a black van with the back doors open. And it would be right here beside this big tree. And for the fifth location of the possible fifth location, we'll be right here by the river as well just north of the military base. This is actually where I found the van. And right here you can see the van, you're gonna find it where the back doors are open, you're gonna hear flies, you're gonna get the vibration in your controller. And when you walk over to it, you'll see a bunch of garbage bags and machetes full of pretty sure probably body parts. So you would inspect it and then you would just back out. And then you'll see five of five investigative clues at the bottom left. And you'll get a text message uh, where he's threatening you. Now, once all the clues have been discovered, the killer is actually going to be coming after you, but you only can find him in Blaine County at night between 7 p.m. and 5 a.m. 
So all you have to do is check on your phone in game and you'll be able to find the timeout. Now he's gonna pop up on you really quick. Uh, in the mini map, you'll see a little red skull. So you need to be quick. Now, if he does kill you, he will just keep reappearing until you do kill him. And as soon as you kill him, it'll show that you now own the Navy revolver. Now then also too, it'll say you need to kill 50 people with a Navy revolver to earn $200,000 in GTA Online money. And then also to the exclusive weapon in Red Dead Online. Now with this, you can shoot other players or NPCs. It doesn't matter as long as you shoot 50 of them and kill them. So yeah, guys, that is it. It's really not that difficult. Within probably 30 minutes, you could do all these, especially if you just use a vehicle that flies and stuff so you can get the location fast. But yeah, that's about it, guys. I hope this helps you guys out. If you want to stay up to date with Red Dead Online or GTA Online, make sure to hit that sub button and bell notification. And also to give the video a like, it helps the channel out. And as always, guys, I'll catch you next time in the next video.